Hello, my name's Annette and I'm with Sunbeam Fabric Art. Welcome to my channel. To start this crazy quilt block, I am going to use muslin for my backing. Normally I use paper for a lot of um, piecing projects, but in this case I want to use decorative stitching, so I am going to use a muslin backing. I pulled out some random scraps left over from some backing that I cut, some binding that I cut, and various other projects. The first thing I'm doing here is ironing my muslin square. I want to make sure my foundation that I'm using is nice and flat. When I'm all done with this block, I'm going to trim it to 12 and a half inches. So I squared this muslin down, not really square, I just kind of eyeballed it down to around 13 or 14 inches square. I like to have a little extra room, but I don't want to have too much that I'm wasting fabric. I was trying to decide what I wanted for my center five-sided shape. Um, I thought the blue kind of faded too much it really didn't stand out then I was thinking well the opposite of green fabric would be red the opposite of blue would be orange so I found this orangey red color for my center five-sided shape and I tried out some fabrics around it and I thought it looked pretty cute I pressed this little scrap of fabric so it would be nice and flat, and then I just cut a random five-sided shape. There is no right or wrong when you're making up your own crazy quilt block. So this is a little chart that came with my sewing machine. It shows me all the decorative stitches I have and what number that corresponds to on the machine. To start this crazy quilt block, I am going to set my five-sided shape right in the middle of that square of muslin. I'm gonna take two pieces of scrap and I am going to stitch them to two opposite sides of my five-sided shape. I took that to the iron and pressed those scraps open and flat. Next, I took it back to the machine and I top stitched with one of my decorative stitches on both of those seams. Now I am adding two more scraps to two more edges of my red five-sided shape. I did trim off some of the excess when I was adding these layers before I pressed the seams open. Uh, that's just to reduce a little bit of bulk. In this case, I tested out a couple of different stitches and I decided I was going to use the one you see in the middle there. 
And once again, I just top stitched over the seam line. I continued my process of adding a scrap, sewing the scrap, then pressing that open and adding a decorative stitch. Right about here, I got a brilliant idea, which was, why don't I press one edge of these scrap strips down and save myself a step? So rather than sew them on, press them open, and then add the decorative strip stitch, I pressed them, laid them where I wanted them, and did the decorative stitch to add them to the square. With a bunch of uh, scraps with one side pressed down, I was ready to just sit down the machine and go around in a clockwise fashion around my shape.
With that block all finished, I trimmed to 12 and a half inches. Thanks for joining me today for this fun, crazy quilt block. I hope you had fun. I hope you will try something crazy yourself and have fun with it. And as always, I hope to see you back real soon.